What's going on everybody? We're here at Ike Signature Sandwiches in Fredericksburg with Matt McHale, the owner and operator of Ike. Thank you so much for sitting down to talk with me. Absolutely. As soon as I saw you guys on Instagram for the first time, I was like, this is somebody I need to talk to. Oh, you look amazing! Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate you coming down. Thanks. Bro. And uh, last time I was here, I had your burger. And like, I think people, people who steak burgers, man, they think that, ah, it's a burger, you can get a burger anyway. No, you cannot. You cannot get a burger. Just anywhere. I was yeah. so impressed. I had a Philly cheesesteak too. Philly cheesesteak. You know what it is? I called it a cheesesteak. Yeah, I appreciate that. Scott, if you're watching it, my best friend in the world is from Philly. Yeah. He and I have a conversation all the time about the difference between a steak and cheese and a cheesesteak. Apps, there is, in which there is a huge difference, but yeah, I won't, uh, I'll there, let you elaborate on that. They're a different thing. A cheesesteak is when it's real and true to what you get in Philadelphia. Yeah, sure. And a steak and cheese is when you put steak and cheese on the sandwich together. So they're not the same thing. John, the legit Tuesday. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate it. Uh, it that's kind of one of the things we try to hang our hat on is the cheesesteaks, the burgers, um, chicken cheesesteaks. We've been open for about a year, um, and the menu is something that we've been working on uh, developing, you know, obviously since we opened. Um, the things like the, like the burger, like the cheesesteak, we opened with the cheesesteak. Uh, we didn't have the burger on the menu in the beginning. We didn't have the chicken cheesesteak on the menu in the beginning. Um, they were sort of uh, additions later on based on what people were asking for us to do. Um, so it's great when people come in and they love our cheesesteak. It's still our best seller. Um, but the burger, uh, the reception on the burger has been amazing. Um, you know, we get people driving in from Virginia, from Richmond, uh, because they see it on Instagram. So uh, thank you, Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing people and using social media the right way. Put some amazing product out there. It just goes to show you, do it right. Yeah. When you do it well, it doesn't have to be crazy. Sure. It just has to be well done. Yep. And you guys are doing it incredibly well. You said you've been here for about a year. What was kind of the inspiration, the impetus to open up lights? Sure. Um, so I guess I, mean, I was the beginning of the Ike story. I was working across the street. Uh, I was bartending uh, at a restaurant right across the street here, and saw this space available. Uh, it had been sitting here unused for about six months. Um, I approached the owner of the building. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of money, um, but he was willing to work with me um, and sort of let me move in with you know very little money um, and sort of pay him as, as time went on. Uh, you know, luckily, within the first month, we were able to pay our security deposit and everything that we that we owed, and we started running like an actual business, um, which is great. But uh, yeah, I was across the street. Um, I've always wanted to do a sandwich shop uh, from Pennsylvania. I moved to uh, DC from. Uh, Philadelphia, and I uh, thought that that was one thing that we could use here in Fredericksburg um, was a really solid sandwich shop. Uh, they you know, did Philly roast pork, Philly cheese steaks. Uh, like I said before, everything else was uh, everything else was kind of built on the backs of those two. Um, but it's great that we have that some people don't even know we sell cheese steaks now; they just know us from burgers. It's like, oh, awesome. All right, I'll take it. Um, as long as they know you. Yeah, but it's something I wanted to do forever. Um, like, go back 15 years. Uh, you know, I've always, there's a place called Paisano's in uh, Philadelphia. It's not the chain pizza place uh, that I've nothing bad about to say about around here, but it's a different place. Uh, and that's, that place really, I lived a couple blocks away from it. I ate there like five times a week. I wanted to have the kind of place to come in. And, Multiple times a week. Um, which being down here in downtown Fredericksburg is the right uh, You know, so many people live within four or five blocks of here um, that we, you know, it's a lot of foot traffic. It's a really cool old building. Um, and we see the same faces, you know, three or four times a week sometimes, which is great. <laughs> I yep. believe it. Yeah. Well, you've got that feeling of kind of like the, the neighborhood place you stop by. Sure. You know? Yep. It's got that feeling of like a downtown kind of space. Yep. Yeah, that's. I mean, that was important to us too. Um, a friend of mine owns an, uh, another business across town, and it's out on Route One. Um, and those are sort of the two options you can go around here. You know, you can be you can find like a, a, a space with a little bit more, you know, traffic, uh, or you can be downtown. Um, and it's both of them have their advantages. Um, for what we're doing here, uh, I thought that being yeah, the foot traffic really would be the way. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I think uh, we've been here almost a year. Um, and 
in the beginning, it was a little rough being a hidden gem. I think I would have rather just been the gem. Been a gem, yeah. But now that people know where we are, and they, you know, some some people still have a hard time finding us. Uh, you do got to go downstairs. You got to find the building. You got to see the sign. You got to see the door. That's it. You got to go downstairs. It's almost like that's like one of the new things. It's kind of like the secret bars, the secret restaurants. You got to like be in to know a lot a little bit. Yeah, I think we have that uh, either going for or against us. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go with four. I mean, a lot of people in here right now. Cool. Soup mount, and every time I've been here, there's been people here. So you're doing awesome. you're doing something right. So you say you started with the cheesesteak, you wanted a burger. Yep. What made you decide to start with cheesesteak? I know how to make a really good one. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you got a good point. I mean, I don't mean to like you know, <laughs> too bad I'm hard, but. Uh, no, I just want to. I, I want to kind of stay in my lane. Uh, I, I'm not a chef. Um, you know, I've cooked for a lot of years, but uh, I don't consider myself a chef. Uh, but I can't. What I do know how to make, I think I know how to make pretty well. Um, so we try to do things keep simple, uh, as local as possible, as fresh as possible. Um, being partnered with the butcher shop upstairs. It certainly doesn't hurt on that end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we get a lot of great deals to take at the local farms. We go in our meet with them. We order from the same places. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool that we can get a price break on a lot of that stuff uh, and be able to you know, afford to sell it back. So you've been here about a year. What's kind of the evolution been like over the course of that year? Sure. So thanks to the menu. Definitely. Uh, we always run, we're kind of, a, we usually have a, a number of specials on the menu. Some of those, right. some of the best of the specials, you know, are sort of how we assemble the menu that we have. Uh, but we try to run two or three specials every week. Uh, this week we're running uh, the Rubens, um, and technically our Ice Burger is still a special. But that's just because uh, we put it on the menu about four weeks ago, um, and it's been pretty popular. Since yeah. So we'll probably stop running that as a special. Uh, but for St. Patrick's Day, we did a homemade corned beef. Uh, uh, Brian cooked it ourselves, uh, and then did it up in a room. Nice. Yeah. I saw that in there. Like, oh, yeah. what I already eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But really want to make sure that, you know, anything that we're that we keep getting better here. Um, you know, we want to make sure that, uh, that we don't start strong and then let people down. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that if you come in here, you're going to get something that's going to be made perfectly every time. Um, which by the way, you can give them the um, So we don't want to let that go. Yeah, but uh, hopefully, you know, uh, we might be able to uh, to you know another location or two in the future. Yeah. Well, you've got the product for it. Yes. <laughs> it's definitely good. Uh, what are some of the lessons that you've learned over the past year? You've got a lot of restaurant experience. Uh, sure. Yeah. Talking to you. What are some things you have to offer to people who are you know, thinking about opening a restaurant? You do what most people can't do, and that's sure. open with very little money. Would you yeah. face an apartment that works? Yeah. You know, uh, I think it's important to not feel defeated by the prospects of what you're trying to do. Um, there's a way to do it. Uh, even if you don't have a lot of money, it might take a while. I mean, but I, I just kind of kept my, I kept my open eye open for the right circumstances, and then you know, it, it never hurts to ask. You know, you know what I mean? I, I feel like know that's it. You know, there's a lot of spaces that are empty. There's a lot of people. Sometimes it feels like there's a million cooks in the world, and uh, nobody's going to give you a chance. But sometimes people will. So. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's the thing. It's just not... Be positive. You know, think, if you think you can do it, you can probably do it. Put it together. Secondly, just take every day as it comes. Try to tackle. There's a million challenges and many things you got to do. Uh, but just try to you know, tackle a problem or two every day. And try to get better. Do something to make yourself better every day. Awesome. Great lessons for everybody, whether you're in the restaurant business or you're not in the restaurant business. I have similar conversations with people who remind me of all the time. Yeah. Take your shot. Take, take yeah. your shot. That's cool. it. Well, man, thank you so much for talking with me. Definitely. Guys, if you haven't been down to Ike's, I'm telling you, come down there and try it. Like, I am, I'm snob on food in a lot of ways. Like, I will tell them if it's not what it's supposed to be. If you're going to call something a cheese day, there are like three of those I've ever had outside of Philly. Yeah, maybe. It's limited. Yeah, it's limited. This is the first one in Virginia. And sports clubs. There used to be one, and then there was none, and now there's one again. <laughs>
but we appreciate it. So y'all come down, <laughs> try the cheese steak, try the pork roll, <laughs> try the cheeseburger. You're gonna love it. You're gonna have a great time. Say hi to Matt when you come in. Come down and see him. So everybody, I'll be back with you again soon. In the meantime, come see the Mike's. Later, y'all.